इस सिडनी हार्बर में जरूर जाते हैं जहां ये पुल ये ब्रिज भी बना हुआ है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी और ऑस्ट्रेलिया के प्रधानमंत्री एंथनी अल्बनीजी दोनों ने यहां सिडनी हार्बर का दौरा किया यहां प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी ने यहां की खूबसूरती और खासकर यहां का जो ऑपेरा हाउस है उसका भी अवलोकन किया और कुछ पल दोनों प्रधानमंत्रियों ने साथ मिलकर बिताए तो विशेष स्थान है ये सिडनी हार्बर जहां ऑस्ट्रेलिया के प्रधानमंत्री ने प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी का स्वागत भी किया और यहां पर पोर्ट के साथ साथ ये ब्रिज और ओपेरा हाउस ये तीनों बहुत खास आकर्षण हैं इस सिडनी हार्बर के जहां आप देख सकते हैं लोग यहां पे पैदल भी घूमते हैं और यहां पर इस ब्रिज से लोग पैदल भी जाते हैं वाहन भी गुजरते हैं और साथ ही रेलगाड़ियां भी जाती हैं और ओपेरा हाउस यहां का विशेष आकर्षण माना जाता है तो यहां पर दोनों देशों के राष्ट्राध्यक्षों ने आपस में कुछ विशेष पल बिताए आपस में जो कैमरा फोटोग्राफ्स ले रहे हैं उनके लिए भी ये काफी खास अवसर था जब दोनों देशों के राष्ट्राध्यक्ष Well that's the bon homey on display my colleague Anand Narsimhan has been tracking this visit on Australia of the Prime Minister he's with us on the broadcast uh, Anand the images on our screen at the Sydney Harbour we have uh, Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and Prime Minister Narendra Modi once again hand in hands and that clear mark of the kind of relationship the two countries enjoy Not just that look at the Sydney Harbour and the tricolor painted in the tricolor that's the that's the big story the big story is that uh, there is uh, at least about 5 uh, 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 to 10000 people who are walking across heading back home uh, beat in these cruise ships beat on the uh, walking around on the wharf uh, watching it from their office buildings they're all taking selfies and they're asking is that the flag of india now that is the underlining of uh, india's presence in australia or the recognition you know people from multiple cultures multiple uh, nationalities who are looking at it and say oh is that the india flag what's the india flag doing on the sydney harbour these are questions that you're watching there are people who are rushing to go and have a look at prime minister narendra modi the indian prime minister uh, who addressed such a big crowd the headlines are about india and now the oldest bridge uh, the sydney harbour bridge uh, which is nearly about 100 years old uh, if uh, if my memory serves me right uh, built uh, before even the sydney opera house that and now has the india flag adorning it uh, on both sides you see the tricolor on the bridge the three the saffron white and green but on the other on two sides you have the white and the chakra ashok chakra that is symbolic uh, and that is significant uh, to underline the friendship that india and australia will have and this is going to make the headlines this is going to grab uh, the visual uh, you know uh, eyeballs of millions of people who are going to look up and say oh uh there is such a huge recognition of india in australia hmm. uh, this is not for once in a once in a moment it's not that the sydney uh, opera house has not been lit hmm. uh, it has been done it is it is done every year during diwali it was done during the 75th anniversary of india's independence uh, or azadi ka amrit mahotsav but to underline the co- the collaboration and the cooperation between india and australia and the friendship this is also sending a message to a lot of detractors a lot of people who are looking at derailing this equation and this friendship between india and australia hmm. a lot of entities who are not happy of the strategic partnership that india and australia is stitching hmm. this is a message to them to say no this is rock solid as a sydney harbour bridge and this is as vibrant as india is hmm. Anand, the last day of the three-day trip, an extremely successful trip that Prime Minister Modi has had. From these visuals right now of the Sydney Harbour, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Anthony Albanese, to the grand ceremony that we saw yesterday, uh, tell us more about the kind of engagement that we have seen. I mean, which which must have been off camera, the important business engagements or on the diplomatic front. I think there has been some valuable feedback that the Indian establishment has got from the Australian business fraternity, yeah. from the Australian polity. Uh, about what needs to be done what india needs to do policy wise and there is i think serious understanding of what india needs from australia uh, be it the matter of security safety of the indian diaspora here the growth of the indian diaspora here the contribution of the indian diaspora here but i think overall one aspect is uh, there is a big tide over in terms of the equation personal equation the connect Mm. not just as two leaders prime minister albanese and prime minister narendra modi mm. but this equation was there even with prime minister scott morrison yeah. and i think cutting across party lines is bipartisan that people realize that uh, you know the stature of india amongst amongst, uh, amongst the australian people amongst australia as a nation perceptually has gone up but more importantly the people to people connect has gone up so i am will not be surprised yeah. if in the coming days we see more and more australian people australians 
coming to India to understand, explore the possibilities and also just go ahead and soak in the rich diversity. Mm. See, Australia mm. is, a, is a country which is for three times the size, if not more, mm. the size of India. Mm. But it has just uh, the population less than that of Chhattisgarh. Uh, so that uh, that is the reality. Chhattisgarh population is about three crore people. Uh, the population of uh, uh, Australia is uh, two point six crore people. Yeah. Uh, so there are uh, urban cities uh, or concentrations in our country, metros, which have more population density mm. uh, than all of Australia or or even uh, Sydney, Melbourne, and uh, Adelaide put together. Mm. So, so these are things which we, which which people will realize. Here there is, uh, and so that's why this land can offer lots of resources, potential, which is important for India's growth. And India can give Australia a huge amount, a huge base for human resource, mm. reliable, skilled, and and uh, you know, uh, a, a, a culturally rooted resource, which will come here and only enrich Australia mm. and not try and uh, create trouble or foment trouble. See, that's the biggest aspect. I think that's the significant message that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given to the Indian diaspora, along right. with Dr. Jayashankar also giving to the diaspora, is that you remember your culture, you come here to contribute, and you use your skills to try and ensure that uh, Australia becomes a better nation. Mm. Do that. Mm. Leave your problems back at home. Don't bring those problems here. If you have left India's shores, then you adopt, you embrace Australia, but you never forget your culture and enrich Australia with the richness of your culture. Do yeah. that, contribute positively as a community, mm. and that itself is enough. That will do the job. And I, I think the Indian diaspora yeah. is more than willing to contribute positively. I, I